everyone. My name is Shinai Kim. I'm from Sandia National Lab in Livermore, and I'm a postdoc. Uh, and today I will I would like to introduce you Pinta, automated workflow code for reaction path ex exploration and then thermal chemistry, thermal chemistry for heterogeneous, heterogeneous uh, catalytic reactions. Also, we will I would like to discuss how we utilize nurse resources to explore heterogeneous catalytic reactions using Pinta. So, Pinta is an automated, automated workflow code for exploring reaction path, which can automatically set up and then spawn a large number of quantum chemistry calculations to study reactions of adsorbate and the gas phase species on the metal facets. Um, large number of this large number of quantum chemistry calculations are actually avail uh, currently available with quantum espresso and an NW chem. Using a powerful G GPU support, um, a large number of the spawning uh, plane wave DFT jobs can be executed in exascale machines in NERSC and in ALCF. Um, this is this, uh, this use of this large uh, exascale machines will increase the scalability of the number of reactions examined using PINTA. The powerful function of the PINTA is that it can generate chemically sensible transition state guesses using a novel method called the uh, harmonically forced cell point search method, HFSP, that I will discuss the later in the in a presentation. And in addition, PINTA has capability to do a coverage dependent uh, pathway exploration with uncertain quantifications to build the kinetic and thermodynamic uh, parameters. Um, we are currently working on the next version of PINTA, which includes the beyond DFT method and then bonding analysis along IRC. Lastly, we are in the process of implementing machine learning to add additional layer of optimization techniques for initial adsorb guesses using deep MD kit. Um, let me explain you a little more about how the work workflow works. Pinta uses workflow software for uh, surface and gas surface reactions. It's, it's ASC supported and then CELI is used to automate quantum chemistry calculations. Um, the Firework workflow management software is used to manage the calculations. Pinta implements a uh, HFSP method for ATS guesses, and then DFT calculations are currently using quantum espresso and NW chem, or a, um, theoretically anything that supports ASC. And games will be uh, interfaced later with Pinta to conduct bonding analysis along IRC. As I mentioned previously, the powerful tool of Pinta is to make a reasonable t uh, TS guesses using a HFSP method. And in HFSP, the guesses are conducted as we, um, uh, as we consider the reactions on the surface, um, like bonded to the spring, in the, like a spring fashion in this, with a spring constant, which now we here we define as um, um, harmonic potentials. And we define harmonic potential between every atom as we're absorbed in both reactant and product and its starting positions. We also define harmonic potentials between every pair of atoms or atoms and site pairing that breaks and forms a bond during the reaction based on uh, reaction based heuristics. We freeze the distance between all atoms that are bonded in both reactant and product. Then we optimize that at N1 XTB and then harmonic potential using Stella to generate settle point guesses. All these harmonic filters, there is a harmonic filter that we impl implemented, and harmonic filters can help reducing the number of TS guesses by deciding which structures to send DFT optimizations based on the energy stored in the um, harmonic bands after the optimization procedure. And all this process of HFSP can be improved by training an ML and machine learning model. Um, subgraph isomorphic decision tree, we call it SIDT. Um, and then we help, uh, using that we help, we help determining bond stretch factors uh, prediction in HFSP. Um, using quantum espresso GPU and power model, we trained SIDT to predict changes in um, activation barrier in reactions and then changes in energy of adsorbate during the, um, due to the coverage effect. Um, 
and then the result pro proves that the SIDT generation better values for the bond stretch factors, which will be very useful. Um, and then with the current version of Penta, we have explored, explored various reactions happens on the metal surfaces. The first example is a hydroxylamine decomposition reaction on the copper and an iridium surfaces. Hydroxylamine is an intermediate product of the hydroxylammonium nitrate, which is an ionic liquid rocket propellant. And when hydroxylamine decomposes to um, NH2 and OH on the both copper and iridium, there are three uh, transition, uh, transition, ge uh, transition state geometries that were optimized. And this reaction in particular showed that uh, it has a submerged barrier, which uh, diffusion barrier could be a very significant in the course of reaction, and then in future, um, the diffusion needs to be studied a little more in detail. And lastly, um, we also use PENTA to investigate methanol, methanol oxidation over silver surfaces. And this project is a very nice combination between experiment and modeling, a collaboration between UC Davis and Sandia. Um, also, this shows our effort to link VASP to PINTA utilizing CPU hours in perimeter. Um, near surface gas phase measurement above um, um, silver catalyst during the meth um, methanol oxidation reveals the, uh, the presence of a previously undetected radical and then C2 species such as uh, acetaldehyde and methanol, methoxymethanol. And ML train force field using DBMD kit with the GPU motor hours was employed to uh, PINTA in order to generate the comprehensive microkinetic models and then using kinetic uh, transport models. The results are now analyzed and then compared with the uh, stagna stagnation flow experiment that's done in Sandia. So a uh, current version of PINTA and then support with the NERSC um, workflow team. Uh, our full offer GPU supported exascale machines and then you're expecting to develop more scalable PINTA to um, exascale level and then explore higher level information and reactions in the next allocation year. So the, thank you for the funding and DOE and then the uh, node hours from NERSC. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Thank you. <laughs>